Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or the connection. As always, it's meant to be general reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. All right, so let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Sagittarius, please, in love. This will be for those of you who already are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. For Sagittarius, please. What do they need to know about this person they are in a connection with? What are this person's secret thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius? What are their secret thoughts or feelings? Sagittarius, please. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius or this connection? Ooh, we got the Prince of Pentacles. It's like the Knight of Pentacles. So they want to make you uh, a very solid offer or they're very serious about you or this connection. Uh, Knight of Pentacles doesn't play around. Uh, they take a really long time to deliver their their message or make an offer but that's because there's a lot of thinking and planning that goes into it what else taurus virgo capricorn energy with the knight of pentacles oops princess of pentacles reverse with the page of pentacles reverse so there could be a delayed start here Whatever your person is working on, um, maybe they don't have all of the resources right now. I am going to clarify all of these. Um, perhaps there's still things that need to be done or planned or something like that. Five of Pentacles reverse. So this person is thinking about a recovery of some sort. No longer wanting to struggle, no longer wanting to have difficulties um hoping to fix something come out of the cold what else do we need to know spirit about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to sagittarius what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about how this person is thinking or feeling Blossoming abundance. Wow. Okay. All right. So this is about manifesting growth opportunity. Bottom of the deck indecision, a choice. Probably your person that needs to make some sort of a choice here is at a crossroads. Anxiety right after that. So this could be something that's a difficult decision for your person to make Sagittarius. So let's get into more information here about how they're thinking or feeling tell me more spirit what are this person's secret thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius what are their secret thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius please mouse and owl oh beautiful okay again um with the mouse a lot of like nervous energy detailed the mouse gets caught in the details they think about things a little bit too much and an owl is all about like some sort of treasure or bounty or something coming your way so this kind of makes sense i feel like your person's kind of like scared to make this offer um maybe they don't know if they're going to be accepted but this is, yeah, this is like a message or something that's coming in here with the lamb at the bottom. So let's see. Let's see, what else can we get here? I'm gonna use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is a physical deck that I'm working on. This is just a sample. The deck is much larger, but I'll let you know when it's done. I really love this deck. Tell me more. 
about how this person is thinking or feeling. Oh, okay, we got I love you. Strong words there. <laughs> okay. What else? I have changed. What's at the bottom here? I wasn't honest with you. Okay, so possibly in the past this person wasn't honest. Uh, they've changed and they still love you. Which this was kind of like, I have a feeling like this is just like a running theme with you Sagittarius. I feel like this is still ongoing. So let's see. What are their true intentions? Actually, let me clarify these up here. I forgot to clarify these up here. Using this new beautiful deck. What's this called? Tarot of the Divine. Yep. Just got it. I really love it. All right, tell me more. Help me clarify these energies, please. For Sagittarius. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles. Forgot to dig in here. Tell me about the Prince of Pentacles. The Hermit reversed. What else can you tell me? Virgo energy with the Hermit. Queen of Wands reversed. Okay, so this is going to be a very slow process here. I feel like your person's trying to like run away from something or it has become very withdrawn as they think about this offer or try to make this happen. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's like a partnership here that's not seeing eye to eye, not working out with the King of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Pentacles. So perhaps it's someone still trying to become free and dependent here. But with the Hermit reverse, it's almost like they ran away. They've escaped from their obligations or problems. They don't wanna hear anybody's advice. Um, can I get one more, please? For the Prince of Pentacles reverse. Can I get one more, please? Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's three people here. There's three people here. The star reverse at the bottom could be an Aquarius, another air sign, fire signs here, Virgo. Queen of Swords is the only one upright, which tells me that maybe this, this offer is for this Queen of Swords, someone who's very sure of themselves, confident, truthful, direct. This could be you, Sagittarius. It could be that your person needs to talk to you about something very serious regarding uh, maybe a partnership that's not working out here. This person could be cutting out this situation, but with the Hermit Reverse, I feel like this person probably has withdrawn from this connection in some way from you or from their problems. And it's like, while they're thinking about things a little bit too much, they're planning their next move, which is towards you. Let's see, what's this Princess of Pentacles about? Why is she reversed? There's a Prince of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we got people here like up the wazoo. I don't know what's going on. Again, I feel like this could be money, resources, your person needing money or resources, wanting to give you something, but unable to give you something here. At least right now the sun reverse what else can you tell me about this princess of pentacles reverse high priestess reverse this is hidden with the sun reverse and the high priestess reverse 
This is something that has been hidden that wants to come out. Hidden feelings. Um, hopefully it's not someone hiding a marriage because I have the Queen of Pentacles here reversed. I mean, Queen of Pentacles upright. Um, but this is coming out or perhaps there's a secret your person. It's almost like they, maybe they need to deliver this offer to you. And that's like the opening of the conversation, if that makes sense. It's almost like you don't expect this person to contact you when they do contact you. It's about something very serious. Again, I get the sense that your person wants to grow something. Blossoming of abundance is very similar to like for me to the Empress card. So it's almost like your person wants to grow or manifest something with an offer. However, there's something hidden here that's coming to the light that's causing delays. And there's too many people here. I have four people on the board right now. With the Hermit Reverse, one of these four people has really been withdrawn. There might not have been any communication between you and this person. Um, and there's a partnership here that's not working out. King, King and Queen of Wands is reversed. So they're not even like having a good time there. Tell me if this is resonating for you. What's the story there? Uh, are you dealing with a third party situation where there's multiple people involved? What's the secret that has come out here? Actually, let me see. Tell me about this High Priestess Reverse. Let me see if the cards will tell us. Why is the High Priestess Reverse here? I love this deck, it's so beautiful. Ace of Swords Reverse, this is deception. Something wasn't communicated or hidden regarding the Three of Coin. Okay, so this is definitely uh, regarding a different, another party. It does not have to be another romantic party, but it's about another person. Eight of Coins Reverse and the World Reverse. Something here where someone's not able to put enough effort, not doesn't have the resources, possibly financial here, and doesn't have the focus to work on something here. They probably weren't able to put an effort into this connection or into this offer before because they were hiding something. And you know, there's no closure here. There's a chapter that hasn't been closed with the world reversed. Okay. I want to still keep using this deck, so. Okay. Tell me about what their true intentions are. What are this person's true intentions towards Sagittarius, please? Oh my God, we got the Ace of Cups. This is very similar. You know what this is reminding me of? The bonus reading I just did for you, Sagittarius. There was also an Ace of Cups in that reading. What are their true intentions? This could be a continuation. The tower reverse. So they're trying to avoid a tower with a love offer. My goodness. Bottom of the deck, six of wands reversed. Seven of wands reversed. Four of cups reversed. They've had a change of heart, this person. I have changed. No longer resisting, um, wanting success. And that, for some reason, requires a tower here to be kind of like avoided or escaped or something like that. Um, they might not want like a full separation with you. And so they're trying to avoid that here. Let's see. I'm going to pick up a different deck here and clarify. Let me clarify these energies, please. For Sagittarius. Let me clarify, please. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Seven of Cups came out kind of like in limbo. That's that choice. But if they're not careful, they can make a the wrong choice. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo.
This could be you, um, Sagittarius. You might be single, successful, good on your own. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Oh, we got two. Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There's that anxiety. This person is scared that their cup is not good enough. That it won't be accepted. So it's like they're trying to think of which cup. But, at, you know, at the same time, they're holding back something here with the Four of Pentacles. What's at the bottom? King of Pentacles. It could be that they are already in a commitment. Four of Cups after that. They're not happy. If they are in a commitment, they're not happy. Yeah, Six of Swords reverse. They might be trying to leave that commitment and are delayed or um, wanting to return to you here because they're not happy where they're at. They're not satisfied. But at the same time, they're not completely upfront, like, like open with you here. What's this Four of Pentacles about? What's this Four of Pentacles about, please? Devil Reverse. This is about breaking free of something. They're holding back. Yeah, Five of Cups Reverse. They want to recover what's been lost, but at the same time, they're holding on to something that they should break free from, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, Seven of Swords Reverse. They're not completely... In the world reverse at the bottom. Okay, some of you, if this is resonating for you, go check out my bonus reading for Sagittarius. I just did it. Um, when was it? I'll have to like link it down below for you guys because it was it, for you guys. It'll be like a week and a half ago. Um, there was my Sagittarius bonus reading for September. Same energy here. Capricorn energy with the devil reverse. There's something your person is. It's like they're trying to not. There's still something not clear with this offer. Tell me about the Tower Reverse. Tell me about the Tower Reverse. Page of Wands. So this is going to start with some sort of communication here. Tell me about the Tower Reverse. Justice Reverse, Libra Energy. Again, it's like something's not very balanced here. Eight of Cups reverse. They're going to tell you that they want to come back. Um, that things weren't successful where they were. That they don't want this to end. They know this isn't fair to you, but blah, blah, blah. Ace of Pentacles reverse. But they're still not going to be able to, like... They, they could have like a, some they could have undergone some sort of financial loss or a broken commitment and they want to tell you about that or it could be that for a lot of you this person doesn't have anything solid to give you they only have words and and love you know they might even have an apology for you they might even have um physical attraction for you and there's plenty of physical uh how do i say it they can give you physical love and emotional love, but it doesn't mean that it's tied to something solid or stable or long-term. So what are their next actions going to be towards you? What are this person's next actions towards Sagittarius? What are this person? Okay. What are this person's next actions? Four of Cups reverse. So they don't want to miss an opportunity. Um, they've had renewed interest in something. They've changed, had a change of heart or have changed their mind. I have changed. Yeah, and there's the Ace of Cups again. Two Ace of Cups here. There's definitely some sort of an offer. And then I have the Three of Cups I wanted to come out along with that. Almost as if Spirit is saying, but don't forget this. They could be wanting a reunion of some sort with you, um, but for a lot of you, this third party is still a thing. And I feel like Spirit wants me to talk about that, or at least, you know, mention that here. Let me clarify, please.
Tell me about this Four of Cups reverse. This deck feels so good. <laughs> what a weird thing to say, but if you're a tarot reader, <laughs> it will make sense to you. Okay, Four of Cups reverse. Why is this here? Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords. I feel like they're changing their mind or, ha or having a change of heart about an ending that already took place. It's like they still want to fight for something that already ended. I love this deck. Such a beautiful deck. What else can you tell me about this Four of Cups reverse? I'm willing to stand up to the opposition. I'm willing to fight for this for us. Not giving up. That kind of energy. Yeah, Six of Swords reverse. They definitely want to come back. The question is, will you accept them? Will you take them back? I feel like this is complete. And again, with the Three of Swords reverse. This is completely up to you. Do you want to still deal with this BS? <laughs> Sagittarius. Um... Are they going to be honest with you, really honest this time? Are they going to be open about the fact that they're still in some sort of cover-up third-party situation here? Because there's people here. If you're watching this reading and you're like, oh no, I'm not dealing with a third party at all. This is not your reading. Um, this is for those of you who are dealing with something that your person is hiding. And the third party does not have to be another romantic partner. It could be a family situation, parents, siblings, whatever. Um, it could be that work has come between you. Um, perhaps this, it could be deception about finances, stability, addictions. All of that can be a third party. There's still something here, but something tells me this is regarding people. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. So this is your person's next actions to make you some sort of an offer. Yeah, Nine of Cups, you are their wish fulfillment. You are, emo like, th this is very, like, I have a feeling, too, this is going to be a very emotional offer. Page of Coin, they're even going to try to throw something solid in there, like, let's go out for coffee, let me see you. Um, tell me more about this Ace of Cups, please. Nine of coin. There it is, the nine of coin again. I want, I'm single and free. I would take that with a grain of salt because I have the four of coin right at the bottom there. This is like they're holding back about how free they really are. Knight of coin reverse. Nine of wands reverse. You know, it's, it's almost like um, that is another burden. Whatever that is, whatever third party situation they're attached to. It's, it's, it's kind of like a burden for your person, but it's still not completely, like, they're not completely done with that. 